was a light that never goes out by the Smythes. Um, this is a disaster waiting to happen because I have like 20 minutes to do this. I've never recorded one of these in 20 minutes in my entire life, but I have a, a very important appointment that I cannot miss that happens in approximately 25 minutes. So we're all screwed. This song is in standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E, tuning, but there is a capo on the fourth fret. If you haven't got a capo, E, a pain, A, W, A, W, G, well, can't rewind and start over while well, rewind. This is awful. Okay, let's just forget everything I was gonna say. I wasn't gonna say anything at all. Just put a capo on the fourth fret. If you don't have a capo, you're screwed. You can't play the song and you should probably stop playing guitar. This song is simple-ish, but it is hard to play. Johnny Marr from the Smiths might be the coolest guy. It might, might, he might hate animals. He might like kick puppies for fun. So he might be awful. He, I'm not saying he does that. I'm saying I don't know him. I said he was cool. And then I'm like, what if he does something terrible? I feel like I'm getting my, this is a whole, this is a PR nightmare, isn't it? I thought I dropped my pick, but I dropped it into my hand. Hi, my name's Stuart. Let's start the song, shall we? Capo on four. We're gonna learn the intro first. The intro is simple. Now in the actual song, the main guitar part is this D minor chord at the beginning. So that's pointer finger on one on the bottom string, ring finger on three of the second string from the bottom, middle finger on two of the third string from the top. Do not play the top string. Try not to play the second string from the top. And you just strum that chord once. However, what I like to do is play this. I think there's another guitar on the album version that strums this chord once and it sounds cool. And I like to do this one, so I'm gonna show it to you. This is where you bar everything on the fifth fret. So with your pointer finger, you just get on the fifth fret, get right up against the fret and smash down. You don't need to get the top string, but we need to get the bottom five strings. When I say fifth fret, that's in relation to the capo. So we go like one, two, three, four, five. It's actually the ninth fret of the guitar, fifth fret from the capo. Put your middle finger on the, the next one, the sixth fret on the second string from the bottom, the B string. Then your ring finger goes on the seventh fret of the D string, the third string from the top. Let's get up close and personal here. Do you see it? It's a D minor seven bar chord. You're gonna give it one strum. We're holding it out for four beats. One, two, three, four. And that is the first chord to uh, There is a Light That Never Goes Out by the Smiths. My name's Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. So after we do that, then you're gonna go to this chord. This is an F chord. Uh, there are many different ways to play F chord. This is one of them. You're gonna do no top string. I'm muting the top string with my thumb. Ring finger plays the third fret on the A string, the second string from the top. Pinky plays the third fret on the D string, the third string from the top. Middle finger plays the second fret on the G string, that's the third string from the bottom. And then your little, tiny little pointer finger plays the first fret on the B string, the second string from the bottom. For this part of the song, you do not need to smash down on the bottom two strings with your pointer finger. Some of you may have played F like this, where you take your pointer finger, smash down on both of them, smash! You don't have to right now. I just, you can have that bottom string be open, or you can have it muted. It's really not a big deal. Sounds good either way. On this chord, you're gonna strum one, two, three, four. I like strumming all down on this, because it gives it a nice driving, pumped up feel. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna go to a G chord. Now, there are many ways to play G. There, that's kind of the theme of this whole song and this whole video, is there are, many different ways to play the same chord. And th this is one of them, or some of them. Look at this. We just did the F like this. Here's what I recommend for the G for right now. Just put your ring finger up on the third fret of the top string, put your middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, and that's it. And then strum that twice. When I strum that, I try not to hit the bottom string, but if you do hit it, it's gonna be fine. So we just did this. F, F, F. Finger G. From the very beginning, we go to that D minor seven, we go one, two, three, four, F, 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 G, G. We do that at the very beginning one time. We also do that before each chorus or 
Chorus. Now we get to the verse of the song. This is the juicy part, guys. It gets nice and juicy here. I don't know what that means. It gets difficult to tell you that much. It goes like this. It goes. There's a lot going on. It's, it's basically an A minor chord. Well, you know what? I'm not going to give you the basically version because it does this weird chord. What even... What even, I mean, it's a C, but it doesn't even, it seems like a G and it's, and my whole brain is, is let me just show you that. Let's, this is, let's, let, let's learn the verse to the song. I have food in my teeth. This is every, I, now I have food, you could tell. I just pulled something out of my teeth and started eating it like it was actual food. How much time do I have left? I got plenty of time. You kidding me? You kidding me? Kidding me, Pam? I got plenty of time. All right, what's gonna happen now? Is you're gonna play an A minor chord. Do you know the A minor chord? Here's what it is. You don't use the top string. The second string from the top is open. Your middle finger is gonna play the second fret on the D string, the third string from the top. Ring finger is gonna play the second fret on the G string. That's the third string from the bottom. And then your pointer finger is gonna play the first fret on the B string, the second string from the bottom. This is a classic A minor chord. We are not going to play a classic A minor chord. We're gonna take the pinky and add it to the third fret of the bottom string. This changes it into an A minor seven chord, but if I were you, I would just think of it as A minor with the pinky. It would be ideal to have your thumb up here muting the top string. So I'm just touching the top string. And now we are all ready to begin the verse. A minor seven chord, you're gonna strum it twice. Down, down. At this point in time, what's gonna happen? This is, this is, I believe, the hardest part of the entire song is right here. We just strum this down, down. Then you're gonna strum up, but at the same time that you strum up, you are going to lift off your pinky and your ring finger. So you strum, you keep these two fingers here, but you lift off those two as you strum up. The reason why this is so hard is because you're gonna want it, you're, you're gonna like end up lifting these off, your, your ring finger and your pointer finger are gonna lift finger, gonna lift off. Everything is gonna happen. Every combination of fingers is going to want to happen except for pink, see, oh no, I did it. Pinky and ring finger. You wanna get your pinky and ring finger to lift off. So it goes a little something like this. Down, down, lift. See how I lifted those off? Let's do it one more time. One, two, here we go. And down, down, lift. Got very aggressive with that last one. Well, let's give it one more time for good measure and for old time's sake and for the road. One, two, here we go. Down, down, lift. And now your ring finger is gonna go up to the third fret on the top string, but that's not its only job. It's not just supposed to play the third fret on the top string, which it is supposed to do. It's also supposed to mute the second string from the top, the A string. So we're going from here, lift, and then you're gonna strum down with your ring finger, pushing on the third fret of the top, muting the second string from the top. Another thing you wanna watch out for, this is like extra credit. We would love it if the high E string, if you could hear the open note. There's a very good chance that your pointer finger over here is muting it, so you wanna try to make sure that your pointer finger gets out of the way so we can hear that high E string. What we want to hear as we switch from this chord is we want to hear this. That's like at the end when they go, love is a light and it never goes out. We want to hear that in this guitar part here. So let's finish up the strumming here. We've got then on this weird chord here, we're gonna go down, down, up. So it's down, down, lift, down, down, up. And actually when I strum up there, I'm pretty sure I get the, I take this finger off right there. I think I lift that. So I think I go down, down, lift, down, down, lift. I do. I lift it off on the last strum up. Then I go back to our A minor with the pinky. Do you remember that you guys? 
So now we've got this. Down, down, lift, down, down, lift. Back to the A minor with the pinky. You're gonna strum down, up, down. So now it's down, up, down. And then you're gonna go back to that weird chord again with the ring finger up top and no pinky on the bottom string. So it's down, down, up, down, down, lift, down, up, down, uh. So I'm strumming up on that weird chord. Let's do that all the way through a couple times together. I got very serious. I stopped joking around because this is not monkey business. This is serious business. One, two, three, four, down. Let's keep going because I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. You're trying to make me late. We just strummed up on this chord. Then you're gonna strum up, down on this chord. So you're not moving anything. You strum up, up, down. Then you're gonna strum up on this chord one more time. But as you strum up, get rid of your pointer finger. So it's up, down, lift your pointer finger. Up, down, Everything up until this point, I'm gonna go micromonically slow. That's a term, look it up. Look it up in your science textbook. Micromonically. One, two, here we go. And down, down, lift, down, down, lift, down, up, down, up, up, down, open. Okay, okay, it's gonna take practice, but I think we've got the freeway is clear, the level is playing field. I'm at the end of my rope and the end of my wits. Now we're ready for the next part. You're gonna go to an F chord. Remember the F from the beginning? Remember that? You remember that. It was no top string, then third fret, third fret, second fret, first fret. But remember how earlier I said you didn't have to smash down with your pointer finger? At this point, you do need to smash down with your pointer finger on the bottom two strings. So now we've got this. It's third fret, third fret, second fret, first fret, first fret. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I tell you something? This chord sucks. This chord sucks to play. It's, it, usually it sounds bad. In this song, it's used very well, but it's just kind of a stupid chord, and I think you're gonna hate it, and I hate it. We're gonna strum on this F chord. Down, up, down, up, down. What, what do we do? We're gonna strum down, then we're gonna strum down, up, down. So it's down, down, up, down. One more time, down, down, up, down, and then you're going to immediately come back up. That this, this is bad news, guys. This is bad news, bears. You're gonna pivot up your pointer finger to open up that bottom string. So we were smashing down. Now you want to open it up. We were smashed down, but now we want to open it up. So it's down, down, up, down, open. You hear that? Down, down, up, down, open. So I'm just, can you see my point? Look, 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 look. Down, down, up, down, open. Down, down, up, down, open. Then, go to just a plain old regular C. Plain old regular C chord, the most, the most difficult of all of the easy chords. Top string is muted. Ring finger, it's the one with the ring on it, is gonna play the third fret of the A string, second string from the top. Your middle finger, that's the one with a middle on it, is gonna play the second fret of the third string from the top, otherwise known as the D string. The G string, the third one from the bottom, is open. Pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom. Bottom string is open, but you know what? If it's muted, I don't even care. Ah, uh, on this chord, you're gonna strum down, up, down, up. On that chord. That's it. That's it. I don't know why I acted like I was gonna say something else. You go down, up. Then you're gonna strum the open strings. Yeah, yeah, the open strings, and then come up on a G chord. But the G chord we want is with ring finger on the third fret of the top string, middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, and then pinky on the third fret of the bottom string. So here's what just happened. We went down, up, open, up, and then up, down. Down, up, open, up, up, down. 
This whole thing we just did was down. I am now going to play for you the entire verse for you to observe what it looks like and what it sounds like. But first, I'm going to sit on my foot to get the elevation right. One, two, here we go. And then it just does it again. It goes. No, no, no. That's not how it goes. One, two, hey, but. I'm doing it too fast. I'm getting flustered because I'm running out of time. Just, just give me a second to think, okay? One, two, three, button. There, perfect. Did it perfect. I did it perfect. You can just, you can just, you can just be kind. They do that, they do that a bunch of times. The first verse is long. They do that like eight times or six times or four times. It's an, here's what I know. It's an even number of times. My zoom froze. See, look, I'm frozed, freezed, frozen. It frozen. Rise, rise of Skywalker. Star Wars, start wars. What is this part of the video where I just, should we learn the chorus? First thing in the chorus is we play the intro again. Do you remember the intro? That's where it goes. Or you can go. Oh, without that pause where I forgot what happened. Then it goes. This, this chorus is supposed to be funny, right? If it's not supposed to be funny, I'm not sure what to think about it. I mean, it's also kind of like dramatic and has like a dark edge to it, but I hope I, uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys something. I like this song. I'm gonna say something controversial though. I think that Johnny Marr, the guitarist, is better at singing this than Morrissey. That, I know! I know! See, I'm doing my, my uh, Monica from Friends impression. I know! But uh, I think, like I said, unless he, unless he like smushes baby puppies under his bare feet, then I think he's a pretty cool guy. Um, let's learn the chorus. The chorus is the simplest part of the song. It's got, it's, here's the strumming pattern for the chorus. We're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That's the strumming for the chorus. Do it with me a few times on the C chord. I'm on a C chord, remember that one? One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, up, down. I said it's the easiest part of the song, but if you're not used to that strumming pattern, it can still be tricky. So let's do it slowly three times in a row. I thought three was a good number. One, two, nice and slow. And down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You notice that when I'm in a time crunch, I don't actually, I don't actually get through material faster. I just talk faster, but talk about more random stuff. And we still, it takes a long time. Here's the chorus. The chords are C. You know the C. Then it goes to A minor. You know the A minor. We've already done the A minor in this song. Then it goes to the F. We've already done the F in this song. You can do any version of the F you want. Then we do F again. So check this out. We're going C. Minor, and then we go to the F, and we do the F again. Now, if you ask me, I will say that sometimes he has his pinky on the third fret of the bottom string for the C chord, for the A minor, maybe even for the F. I don't think he really does it on the F. I'm gonna leave that up to you. I think he switches it off chord to chord. What I tend to do is for the C chord at the beginning, I have my pinky down on the third fret of the bottom string. Then I get rid of it for the A minor. I don't add it back for the F. Then 
then we go to a G chord. We're gonna use the same G we did earlier, which is ring finger on the third fret of the top string, middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, and then pinky on the third fret of the bottom string. And we're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then we go immediately back to the C chord. I think I keep my, my pinky there for that one, I like it. Then we're gonna go back to F again. Don't worry, I'll review all these. And then we go to a D minor. Remember D minor from the beginning? I had you do the D minor seven, but for this part of the song, I think we want the regular D minor. So it's pointer finger on one of the bottom string, ring finger on three of the second to bottom string, and then middle finger on two of the third string from the bottom. If we go all the way through the chorus, sounds like this, C. Minor, F, F again, G, C, F, D minor. And they do that not once, but twice times in a row. After the chorus, we go to what I like to call the verse. Guess what? We've already played the verse. Remember, it was... They do that again. And then they do that like a bunch of times. Then they go to the chorus again. Then they go back to the verse for the ending of the song. They just play the verse a whole bunch of times. There is one little thing I have to mention, which is this cool little guitar fill where they go... So, uh, do I have, yeah, I got time. I got time, I got plenty of time. Guys, I don't know why you made such a big deal about the time, this whole lesson. We got plenty of time. In the middle of the second verse, I don't know, it's maybe like two times through the thing on the second verse. He goes like this, he goes. So here's what that is. We do the, the regular riff, we go. You go to the F. On the F, you're gonna strum down, down, up. Then you're gonna go like this. You ready? This, this is like optional. You don't have to do this, but it's in the song and it sounds good. So we, on the F, we go down, down, up. Then, get it all rid of all your fingers. You're gonna play the D, the G string and then the B string open. Then you're gonna go right back to the G string. So it's boom, ba, boom. I'm plucking down, up, down. Then play the first fret on the B string, the second string from the bottom. Then go back to the open G string, the third string from the bottom. Then go up to the third fret on the B string. So that was. So boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Then play the open B string, second string from the bottom. Then on the G string, the third string from the bottom, play two zero. So that was boom ba boom ba boom ba 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 ba. It's just this fun little guitar fill that's right there in the second verse. We go. I blew it. Let's take it from the F. I should do it from the beginning of the verse thing again. One, two, three, four. Then right back to the regular verse part. I have one minute. Let me play you, let me play you the intro, verse, chorus, back to the verse. And then we'll get, then we'll get out of here. I'm out of time. I'm out of time, guys. One, two, three, four. No, 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 no. Two, three, four. 
See, what happened there is I messed up a lot legitimately, and then I just acted silly to make you think I was messing up on purpose just to be weird. <laughs>